What's up guys, Seth Fighter, and I'm gonna show you how to select the right jig trailer. Um, there's a million kinds of jig trailers out there, but basically what you wanna really consider is water temperature and movement. Um, you know, I got a few different trailers here. Some have a lot of action, some got a little action, and some got no action. And that's kind of what you want to factor in based on water temperature. The, the first one is basically your old school chunk style trailer. Um, this has little to no action, and this seems to excel in colder water. Basically, 55 degrees or less, that's when I'm going to reach for a chunk style or a no action style trailer. There's a lot of different ones on the market. Um, from the old park chunks to, you know, this is a Z-Man bat wings, um, but this is going to have very little action. And the fish like that when the water is really cold. Um, then you kind of get into your action trailers, and I had a couple different ones here. This one here is a, it's the Billy Goat from Z-Man. It, it's a, I would consider it a middle of the road subtle action trailer. Um, you know, something I would fish maybe in clear water, but definitely water temperature above 55. Clear water, it's a little more subtle, um, not a big kicking profile. So, you know, warm water, clear water, I'm going to reach for something in that middle of the road um, action. And then the last one, this is a, a turbo cross, but this is your, you know, your big craw kicking style trailer. This is off color water and warm water. Um, you know, if it's above 55 and the water's got some color in it, I'm going to reach for, you know, a jig trailer that's got a lot of action in it. Um, you know, especially if you're swimming a jig, I like that one a lot, or even just flipping a jig. Um, a lot of kicking on the way down, kicking on the way up. Um, so you basically want to base those all on water temperature, and then as far as color goes, I just kind of match them to my my jig skirt. Um, you know, if I'm throwing a black, blue, or black, purple jig, I'm probably going to have a black, blue trailer on it. And then, uh, pretty much, I throw quite a few variations of green pumpkin on my jig skirt, but my trailer is almost always straight green pumpkin. Sometimes I'll pull a little spike at chartreuse or orange tips on it, but basically a green pumpkin trailer of some sort. And that's how I pick a jig trailer. 